It's cutting up radio. G ski right here in the building. And uh it's more than me just in this building today, man. It's a special edition of Cutting Up Radio. I got my my brother, man, Matthew Ross in the building with me. What's good, man? What's going on, brother? You doing all right? Man, I'm I'm smooth. I'm trying to get like you, man. Yeah, it ain't nothing, man. <laughs> Man, like I said, this is not just a regular friend, Joe. This is my brother. I've been knowing this man for how long? About 15 years. About half my life. 15, boy. That's, we was neighbors. That's enough years. Yep. Like, I'd, I'd take a bullet for this man. I'll take a, uh, like a Nerf bullet. <laughs> 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 nah, but for real, though, man. But uh, so what's up, man? Like, I've been I've been paying attention to, to everything you've been, hold on, people blowing me up. I've been paying attention to everything you've been doing, you know what I'm saying, when it comes to being out here on the on the front line in Chicago at these protests. And it's like, damn, I'm looking at the news and I see you getting hemmed up. And it's like, damn, boy. So my question really is, like, where did all this start? Like, what made you want to even, you know what I'm saying, what was that spark that got you like, enough is enough, I got to get involved? Well, uh, first off, like, i always been – uh associated or been um, involved with uh social justice and um just uh doing the right thing for my fellow human being whether it be white black whatever um you know but uh we see what's going on in the world uh especially the black men being shot down not only by uh, each other but by our system and you know, it's going on all through uh, throughout the United States, but this time it really hit home, um, and it's really been exposed uh, that the mayor, uh, the police system, the state's attorney, everybody has uh, been involved in covering it up, and we uh, just out here trying to get justice since it's finally out there the blanket been pulled off we trying to seek justice we will get justice uh, uh, by any means necessary and we're going to stay consistent and persistent in doing that um, but yeah it really hit home this time and um, it, it could be it could have been me it could be you right. it could be our kids mm-hmm. you know so we got to put a stop to that before it, you know it really hit home when it comes to, you know what I'm saying, because it's a lot of people who pay attention to it, and it's also people who just don't even care about what's going on, who just don't even have a feeling towards it. And it's like they don't really understand how much it's affecting them. So it's like if I was somebody to be like, well, it don't really matter, what if, what, what could you tell me to like to change my mind to get me to understand what's really happening? Uh, question, is a black citizen or a white citizen? <laughs> Either oh way, God. you know what I'm saying, because... It's two it's two things that you see out there. Um, it's kind of sad on our part. Um, just for instance, like Black Friday, you know, we shut everything down. Michigan right. Avenue, no, nobody was making any money. We were shutting it down. And one of the saddest and, like, most heartbreaking things to see was the fact that we was uh, shutting down these stores. And for the most part, um, you see white individuals or uh, people not of color, they'll come up, and most of them, you know, they get upset or whatever, and, you know, we tell them, hey, the store closed, you're not getting in, boom. They'll be like, man, that's messed up, and walk away. Our, our folk come up. I sat there in front of this door with two girls trying to get into the Nike store. And they argued with us for two hours. It was cold out there. Right. Cold, cold out there. And they sat out there and argued with us for two hours to get in the Nike store to get some shoes. And that's heartbreaking because we out there trying to do something for our people. And they study, you know, they so brainwashed um, that they were so adamant about getting in that store um, that they were ready to fight us. And and that's what we face, and that's just a microcosm of what we facing in today's society. We got a lot of people that want to stand up and, and see us do better um, and y- unite, and then there's always a section of people that just want to continue on doing what they're doing, 
uh, just playing by the, the way the system is made and don't want to break the system or change the system. And it's almost like a drug. I mm-hmm. mean, the way that they was trying to get in that store was like they was trying to get They just stuck crack. on what yeah. they trying to get, man. Exactly. That is that is odd, man. Like, the shit is everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. What, what was pro? Well, well, I ain't going to say we, but what y'all was out there protesting for, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Laquan McDonald. That's everywhere. Everybody was, you know what I'm saying, paying attention to them 16 shots, and they didn't even care mm-hmm. to even stand down. Like, they just wanted to buy some damn shoes, and that's, yeah. like, ridiculous as hell, bro. Yeah, it's, it's bad because, uh, you know, not only is this, uh, you know, not only are we fighting for uh, justice on, on behalf of the family and uh and trying to figure out when has this happened uh, before because we know that if this been covered, I mean, it's got to be all kind of other stuff that's been covered up. But we got to understand that, you know, black or white, you know, a lot of our money is going to these settlements and stuff. In the last 10 years, I believe it's been 500 mil that, that we've been paid out in settlements and cover-ups. And it's it don't make any sense when you when you see like tax hikes, you see the mayor trying to do every little thing to you know get squeeze money out of the citizens, parking meters and everything, uh, raising taxes, blah blah blah. Mm-hmm. And then you know y'all spending money, five hundred million dollars on settlements. Now you would think if you just did what you were supposed to do. Then you, you wouldn't have to worry about uh, 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 raising taxes or, any, or taxing the people or anything. It's, it's messed up. Mm-hmm. So um, this not only affects um, the black folks, but it affects all citizens, white and black, because um, you're talking about paying taxes and and, and we cut we using our own. You you let's say you murdered my my brother okay you murdered my brother you pay my parents my tax money to cover it up then you bail the murder out with my tax money mm. you see what i'm saying right and it just keep going on and on and, on. and then he he works for thir- another 13 months off of my tax money so you could kill my people and then use our tax use money my to pay, money for, the to money. pay for, the, for the whole thing. Hey, I'm gonna be real. I'm like sitting here trying to pick it out as you speaking into me, and I'm, I'm, you know, what I'm saying I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't pay attention to politics. I never really gave no fuck. I just knew it was some, you know, what I'm saying some corrupt shit going on. But as you talking right now, by you literally know to the T talking about our tax dollars that go straight to. Putting on for the for the forty percent of our budget go to Chicago Police Department. No, not that, but I'm saying, um, you know what I'm saying? How (laughs) our tax money goes to paying off these victims' family, Mm. and it's like I didn't picture that. I never thought of that. Mm -hmm. You're right. That's an eye opener. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and that's and that's what's going on. And, uh, And be honest, most of us we don't really really pay attention to politics like that because it's like, what's the point? You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? What you know, that's not gonna benefit me. They just it's a system and they gonna keep their system going and it's just they gonna be, you know, the rich people gonna keep getting rich and I'm just trying to maintain and do a little bit better than what I was doing and then the poor people they just gonna keep on being right. poor. But this is an eye opener now, especially for, you know, this younger generation, um, uh, that they gonna be more involved in uh in politics, uh we're voting. We gonna get a mass voter registration, you know. So we see that it's not just these big elections with the governor and the mayor and the president, mm. but it's little stuff that matter, like the uh, uh, the circuit courts, uh, the secretary of state, right? All all, all of that stuff, branches. all that stuff that go in to play a play a part into who gonna represent us, and 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 we need to start raising up these kids that's in this movement um, to to actually be aware and be uh, interested in pursuing careers like that and we're going to support them so we can raise up candidates that's, that look like us. Right. 
True. Now, and I was just about to, you know what I'm saying, fold into how important is it to vote? You dig what I'm saying? Like, all these goofy-ass people out here who got rhyme in office in the first place, mm-hmm. to me, it's like, that's like a slap in y'all face. And some of them don't even care. So, I have, honestly, it's not really a slap in the face because they don't give a fuck what they doing to the people out here and in the lower communities, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, <laughs> we just cutting on the news, see Ron running lights, mm-hmm. all this goofy shit, bro. It's like, <laughs> I, I was just, yeah. well, how, how you just going to run lights, but I got to pay for them, exactly. you know what I'm saying? And it's just crazy how deep it really is and the levels to all the shit that you're saying is a real eye-opener. People really need to absorb this energy and stop, pay attention, and understand what you're saying. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we uh, voting is extremely important. Like I said, we all, most of us, guilty of not really, really paying attention. We we leave that up to, you know, the the people that we think benefit from it. But the truth is that, you know, uh, if we're not benefiting from it, then we need to say something about it. Especially if it's not. Um, it's not just geared toward helping us, but it's geared towards keeping us oppressed. You know, mm-hmm. it, it's one thing to it's one thing for it to help somebody else and not do anything for us, but it's another thing for it to help somebody else and then step on our neck so we can't get out. And that's that's a big problem um, with uh, Chicago uh, and probably all of, through all the major cities in the United States is that we we don't vote. We don't care about politics, um, and then we get the butt in the stuff. We get the scraps, and we even get resources and schools shut down, resources taken out of our communities and everything, and then we be wondering why. Mm-hmm. So that's um, so. Hopefully, uh, this wakes uh, us up. Uh, I think in March, when we uh, get the uh, state's attorney is going to be up for re-election. Anita Alvarez, we're going to tell her adios. Um, yeah. Because, it's, you know, she crooked. She's been in there too long. She's been crooked. I think she even got a worse ego than Rahm Emanuel. I do not like her. Um, and she has to go. So we're going to make sure that even if we can't get her to resign, um, that we're going to show up in mass numbers at the voting polls, and we're going to vote her out. 